God damn it. What is up, warriors? Welcome back, back, back to my channel. Hi, everybody. Hello. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm very excited to get into tonight's artist. We are live on Discord. Shout out to everybody who's here live. Say hello to the YouTube and Patreon peeps. This artist is incredibly dear to my heart. And you guys introduced me to her in Fresh Face Friday. And ever since then, I've been keeping her to myself. <laughs> she dropped a project after that. I didn't react. I listened on my own. Everything she's dropped since I found her. I've just been listening on my own because I got really connected to her voice and I kind of do that sometimes. But today I'm really excited to react to Ravina's latest project and it's called Where the Butterflies Go in the Rain. Mama is loudly, loudly supportive of Palestine. That is why she is on my channel right now. All the peeps let me know and I was so happy to find that out. So if you would like to watch the unedited, unfucked version of this, you can find that over on my Patreon. The link will be in the description box below. All right, I'm not gonna hold y'all up any longer. Let's get to the reaction. Let's go. All right, this project is 14 songs, 49 minutes and 47 seconds. Ravina has one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard in my life. It feels like a hug at all times. Every time I listen to her, I just feel very warm and comforted. And that's part of the reason why I just started listening to her on my own. <laughs> because I just liked the way I felt listening to her voice and I just wanted to like sit in it and not feel like I needed to talk, not feel like I need to do anything, just lay and listen to her music. She's just a beautiful soul, bro. And if you follow her, especially on Twitter, she just emanates light just light and happiness. And she's always talking about like being the best version of yourself and always talking about her growth and like she's grown so much this year and, and watching her personal journey has been beautiful to see as well. I'm so excited I can finally listen to this project. I was saving it for when I wasn't like super depressed, which I'm not anymore, but also you guys wanted to see it as well. So this is perfect. This is, this is so perfect. My heart, my heart, my heart. It's so twinkly. Oh my gosh, her, her opening, her opening track is three minutes and 33 seconds. Mama is also just very tapped in. So I feel like we're just gonna see angel numbers all over this goddamn album. Let's jump into the first track of this album and it's called Pluto. Let's do it. But some days I wish you were here. transition was clean wasn't it i didn't even see the next song pop up but it did whoa ravina obsessed with her voice obsessed with her song structure as well she is also a layering stacking girly and her voice is just like butter she's a bird <laughs> she's a bird a beautiful majestic bird yes yeah, somebody said child of brandy absolutely dad was so gorgeous see girlies like ravina also just made me want to fall in love <laughs> Make me make me want to hold space for love and enjoyment and and just appreciating somebody else's presence for a long period of time which i don't do often so you know i love her i love that as an opening track that was gorgeous and it slid right into the next track which is called lucky so let's do it I also love her vocal fry. It's my favorite. Let me be your escape from the world. Heal all the hurt. Her 
voice is like a soft caress on your cheek. Like, yeah. Girl, clock me. I'm melting. I love her voice. I'll stay soft just like I for you. Guitar picking in the back. Hello. Ooh. She's doing my favorite thing. <laughs> the lyrics from the other verse on top of the last one, please. <laughs> oh, I have like tingles up my back, bro. <laughs> like, oh. She, I, first of all, she did my favorite. Brandyism, where she like I don't know Brandy invented it, but I I love when she does it the best. Um, Allah never say never. Where you just sing different parts of the verse stacked on top of another verse or the chorus, and it's like. and it just all melts together and creates this world of sound and because her voice is so soft and feels so intimate it just be like it feels like she's this close to my face singing but also all the way over there in like a beam of light with her guitar because she also plays instruments i'm seeing her live for the very first time because she's opening for tinashe i think my show is november 1st i'm gonna crawl out Oh, my skin let's move on to the very next track and it's called rise let's get it also the seamless transitions everything's been clean so far let's get it oh girl why does it sound like a change gonna come hello oh my god is this oh my god is this for Palestine? I'm gonna cry. Oh! Wow. I love this big band sound as well. Who's on the piano, bro? Like, Whoa! that's right. Mama said I will not ignore. This is so gorgeous. Come on, yeah. Wow, it's her and the band. It's me up. Sing, baby. Oh, I have chills. Oh, I hear a transition. Literally, Ty. Literally. Listening to Ravina just evokes a joy. I can't explain, which is why I couldn't explain to you guys why I just kept her to myself. <laughs> When I found her, I was like, oh, because there are other artists, Willow, that I live for that create emotion in me that I don't always feel like sharing like publicly. I don't have like a whole lot to say and I don't feel like I'm going to have a whole lot to say listening to her because it just it I just feel amazing. I feel amazing and pathogen changed my life quite literally but that was beautiful and I do think that that was a reference to not only Palestine but all the genocides taking place right now it's heartbreaking and that's why I've unapologetically not given a f <laughs> about how anyone feels about my stance on the way that things are going there's no reason for silence there's no there's just no excuse or reason whatsoever mama said are we are we gonna be quiet or are we gonna rise and i just love her for that 
Oh, that was beautiful. I love the band. The live instrumentation was gorgeous. Her voice, she just floats, man. It's like, it's so easy. It's just so easy. Listening to her, and she didn't have to do a song about it, but she chose to do it. I love, yeah, I love her too. Love you, girly, if you're watching. Let's get into the next track, and it's called Every Color. I like, I still have chills, bro. <laughs> I was like sit, sitting here trying to think, do I want to speak right now? Or do I just want to sit in this feeling? I am grateful for artists like Ravina. I'm, I'm extremely grateful. Let's get into it. Every color. Oh my God. Girl. gotta pause it because bro the way this woman just has something to say in all of her music starting off this song would they want our youth they want our womb <sighs> vote for kamala please it's not a joke or a game i'd rather protest under a harris administration than a trump one i feel like most people can agree with that there's so much work that needs to be done and mom was like i don't want to wait it out i don't want to wait to see what is going to happen like we're not machines we're human beings all of this is just a lot to take in all the time and it just is i so pre i just appreciate her using her art this way and on top of that the song is gorgeous like some people could never <laughs> some people could never mama said go outside get some sun drink your water Oh, this is a short one, okay. Girl, I'm not gonna complain. I got a five minutes on the last time. It's not, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Ooh! Very short, very succinct, very to the point. Go outside, get some sunlight directly on your face, drink water, and vote. <laughs> like, that, that's a lot of what I heard. They want our youth, they want our wombs, they want us to pretend like money gonna fix everything. Mama said, even this money isn't mine. Ooh! Even if I'm in possession of it, this money ain't mine. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next track and it's called Baby Mama. Let's get it. Sometimes I think skies can look like sea, just like the way The harmonies, come on, man. This is how Ravina does sex, y'all. Mm. Listen, very demure, very mindful. Sweet. Come on over and make love. Let me be your baby. Mama. Come on, girl, let them know. Woo! That was cute. Sexy things. Just a whisper. That's that shit that gets you in trouble in the midst of things. You doing the deed and you're just like, let me be your baby mama. That's danger. That's dangerous. I love that. <laughs> I love that song so much. That is how Ravina does a love making song. That's like the nicest way to say in me. <laughs> the kindest way. Just a cute little whisper. Let me be your baby mama. Let me be your baby mama. Mm -hmm. That's how you do that. Just very cute about it. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh my, no, she does not. The next song is Junebug featuring JPEG Mafia. I just saw JPEG Mafia in concert a couple of weeks ago. Actually, insert video clip of me watching a mosh pit from above because I'm too old to mosh anymore. <laughs> 
I got me a very cute seat. I watched the white children take off their shirts and jump around and act crazy and stuff. I'm really excited to see what this sounds like because JPEG is categorically one of the most askew, interesting rappers that are out right now. His discography is not for everybody. He makes his own beats. It's all like a mix of like hip hop, rock. Yes, very experimental. I like JPEG. I found him at a festival. I was high out of my mind and heard him screaming into a mic with his shirt off running around on the stage. And obviously I went in that direction and I stood there and I watched the rest of his set, but I enjoy him a lot and his concert was very good. I did not know they knew each other. This is so cute. And this actually makes sense for him. It makes sense that he would connect with somebody like Rafina. Cause when anybody looks at JPEG and he's just very grungy and very like, Ugh. but then the people that like just wanna be near light, he, she's light. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this sounds like. Let's get into Junebug. <laughs> JPEG, he better behave himself on this track. I'm not playing with him. This beat is knocking. If it says it don't fuck, make it love in the summertime. I love her writing so much. I got so good to me. Why do you leave with the summertime? I'm like in the taste. Smelling a sweater. I couldn't be patient. So soon. Oh wow. What do you me? Woo, sing. Look, think I'm only present for the summer that's pretending me. I'm fighting demons, my inner pieces get bobbing weed. Yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm not for I'm not for opening up. I think my moments up. I need the clarity. Yeah. I'm in the you got what I need like this marquee. Hold up. Slide, yeah! This was not a combination I was expecting. This is a favorite. Down. He, she let him fuck with the beat a little bit too. I know his production. I love him so much. He just always gotta be a weirdo. He always gotta be a weird ass. And I love JPEG so much. That nigga said chicken nuggets. <laughs> what is wrong with him? That was great. Oh, he slid with her. That was something sonically. I didn't know if I would ever hear. I love that he did that feature. Show versatility, so I want to see him with more girls. He's featured on a lot of men's projects, and it's all been super rough and super grimy. And like, I like that, I like his traditional style too, but I've never heard him that soft and he just slid in a way that I'm not, I'm not used to exactly. He's always scaring the hoes. He did not scare the hoes on this track. The hoes actually came in, I came closer. <laughs> What's like? Well, I wasn't expecting that, but in Ravina's presence, you know you gotta listen. He matched energy so well. He matched energy so well. I loved that. Oh, I loved that track. Okay, let's move on to the next track, and it's called Lose My Focus. Oof. God damn, that was hard. That was so hard, bro. Oh, the heart! This production as well has been out of this world. Oh, 
bridges to I I oh. God, that was beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Again, I didn't want any spoilers or whatever, so I had her muted for a very long time. I don't know which songs she released as singles or if she released singles at all, but that one felt like a single and it was beautiful and I loved it so much, even if she didn't release it as one. that That's a favorite as well. This girl really gonna make me want to find somebody, bro. But I heard you can't find nobody when you looking. So I'm just supposed to sit here and do what? Online dating sucks. I deleted all of my apps. I don't. I said if I'm going to find someone, they're going to catch me in public, bro. I'm really tired. I want connection like everything that she was talking about. Everything she's been talking about. This entire project. I want this kind of love. The love that makes me feel butterflies and such in my stomach. You know? We all deserve it. <laughs> we all deserve it. What the f I'll find it one day. We'll find it one day, you guys. I have hope. I do. I genuinely do have hope. It's just all about timing. And when I'm, when, you know, God feels like I'm ready to receive that person in my life, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient, but I will experience this kind of love. I will. Let's move on to the next song. And it's called We Should Move Somewhere Beautiful. This girl got to be, bro, how, if she not in love and she writing like this, what does this shit sound like when she is in love? I don't know her personal life. I don't know what she's dating. I just know that all of these songs have felt so genuine and just like she's experiencing all of this now or have like very recently she's bisexual and open. I know that. I know that's right. I know. My sister. My sister. All right, let's get into the next track. It's called We Should Move Somewhere Beautiful. Let's do it. We should move somewhere beautiful. Oh. And shield them from the rain. Mm, that lower somewhere harmony. We should move somewhere beautiful. Just you. the backgrounds we gonna slide right into the next track and it's called kid gorgeous interlude so pretty oh my god clean don't make me cry that's the she was gonna get me i feel like I, I said it in my most recent like girl talk q a or whatever i just reconnected with my inner child and validating her and all the fucked up shit that we went through and everything that i've overcome to be the woman that i am now man that shit pulls at me oh that shit pulls at me man Yes, her say it was I started crying in but i ain't let the tears fall <laughs> i said my body was my sole rival 
Girly, I was completely detached from my body, man. I felt like I had to be because of how much shit I was put through because of my body. I just did not want to be myself. I did not want to be in my physical form. God damn it. <laughs> I'm mad. I was doing so good. If anybody watching this is going through their side of return, how you holding up? <laughs> how are you holding up? What side of the coin are you on now? I feel like I'm on the back end. I'm at the end of this shit. But the first, this top of this year was hell for me, man. It was so hard to face it, but it's very healthy. It's very necessary and we all have to do it. Had to throw my glasses on. Mama had just, oh, oh, my heart, man. My heart. Let's jump into the next track. And it's called 16 Candles featuring Ganavia. That's my best guess. It's a gorgeous name regardless. Let's get into it. Girl, talk about it, talk about it. That's right. I love the way she throws her voice. Like my favorite. I love the stripping it back, stripping it back to piano and guitar. Come on. Woo! The girl sing. Oh yeah, come on. I was gonna say it gave a little church towards the end. It did, definitely. Okay, let's move along to the next track and it's called Smile For Me. Let's get it. sweet that was very very sweet child i know somebody said listen contrary to popular belief you know i <laughs> do i enjoy money yes but i used to spoil the living shit out of my ex he ain't deserve it but i did because i had the funds to do so that's like one of my love languages as well i love planning dates i love planning trips i love using the resources i have to make that person's life filled with more joy and such if i got a meal to spend listen because me that ain't gonna be my only meal if i have a meal that's gonna be one of multiple you feel me so like as long as i have other millions he could get a meal i'll plan the hell out of a trip with excursions and everything you feel me if i have the money to blow if i'm giving a million then i have the money to blow you only live once you know <laughs> And better. This pussy tight like a nun.
Okay, I love this. Let's move on. We're coming up on the end of the album, you guys. Let's move on to the next song. And it's an interlude, and it's called Afternoon Tea with the Auroras. If you didn't know, her name is Ravina Aurora. I'm not 3,000% sure of her ethnicity in this moment. I don't want to lie, so I'm not going to say anything at all. Indian. Okay, that was my guess. I was guessing. And in the video that we watched the other day, she was wearing, like, her bendy and her sari, and it was gorgeous. Punjabi, to be exact. Love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just joy and light, man. Let's get into it. Afternoon tea with the auroras. Cut the book, need a bow, need a bag. Kabi kabi, thanks to God. Kafiki? Thanks to God. Thanks to God. Yes, let's slide into the next one called Little Bird. All glory. Mm hmm. Changing out the bruises for people you love. Oh, wow. This sounds like she's just sitting in a room with somebody playing guitar. Sometimes it's heaven, sometimes it's hell. I love this so much. Little bird is a break out spell. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a favorite. I don't want to cry anymore. This can't be bad. The Wait, how did I do it last time? This is so oh. real. Mama went from the rehearsal to the actual studio version. Wow. So gorgeous. Let's slide into the last track. It's called Water. I love this girl with my whole heart, man. I really do. She is so special. This pulsing. Yeah. This is a favorite. Oh. Woo, come on, man. Girl, you better modulate, please. Who's on the drums? <laughs> I can, like, picture her smile in my head. Yes! Oh, I'm shaking. Come on. Yeah! I don't even... I What? This girl is so unreal. She is, like, not real. Mama made it five minutes and 34 seconds. I'm gonna let the last 34 seconds of this shit play. Because this was masterful. It's the detail, it's the droplets of water in the back, it's the fade out, the panning, girly pop, and just let the track sit. I don't, I don't have, I, what? It really is genuinely hard to put into words the way I feel when I listen to this woman's music. I cannot wait to see her on stage for the first time. I cannot wait to hear these angelic vocals in front of my face. And if I am lucky enough to meet her, I just, I, please, Lord, keep me. Don't let me act a fool in front of this woman. She is so dear to me. She is so dear to me. This was a phenomenal project, and I understand why it's her favorite. She says it, she, this is the one that she's the most proud of. It was so cohesive. The transitions were incredible. The context is always going to give love and light and beauty and sensory and imagery. And I just saw it all from beginning to end in my head. Y'all saw which ones I cried at. The girl is just excellent at what she does, and she's done nothing but grow over the years. I'm really, really excited to see what she does next. I'm always going to go to Ravina for healing. 
I'm always going to go to her when I want to feel a sense of calmness and just presence and sitting still, which I don't do often. <laughs> I value her art so much because of that. We need these artists as well. So please do not sleep on this woman. Please do not sleep on this woman. Thank you guys so, so much for watching with us back on Patreon and on YouTube. If you want to be here live in person with us, join my Discord. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one.